Hi, my name is Sammy. I'm the older preschool coordinator here for North Campus, and this video is going to show us um, some changes that have been made to the spring curriculum. First of all, it has six steps, and I'm going to show you um, how they're going to look one by one. Um, also, you need to know that you can make a pause whenever you need to step out of the classroom, either to go to big room, it could be either Tiny Praise or Creation Station, and um, and then you can just start back wherever you left off. Also, um, the time for snacks is not included, but you can put that in there wherever you feel is best for your kids. Centers is what our kids get to do when they come through the door. They can choose to either color or build something or play in the kitchen. It's all up to them what they want to do for the first 15 minutes that they're here. Circle up. This is the time when we get to show them the Bible lesson for that day. In today's lesson, we're going to learn about how Jesus um, kept attracting more and more people to him and he just kept teaching them about God's love. In the first picture, we see how he even helped a man who came to him with a hand that he could not use and Jesus asked him to stretch out his hand and it was healed. Uh, but there were some people, as you see there on the picture, that were not very happy about what was going on. So um, on the second picture, we're going to talk to our kids about how the men were leaders of the temple and they didn't like Jesus. They didn't believe that he was actually God's son. So they didn't know how to make him go away and have the people stop listening to him. So what we want to talk to them in the third picture is going to be about um, why they think that that was happening. And we're going to take some time to um, thank God for sending Jesus to our lives as our Savior and also um, asking him to forgive us whenever we make a mistake. This is the time where you get to do the craft with your group. All the materials that you need will be set for you in your classroom. It al almost always has a picture of how it's supposed to look at the end. If there is anything that you need extra, you can always find Heidi or myself in the hallways and we're more than willing to help. Our Bible memory verse for today is, Children, obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. Ephesians 6, 1. For 9.15, you're going to throw a ball around and they get to say um, Jesus whenever they catch it. At the end, play it one more time with them. And this time, they can tell you what they can do to show God's love, just like Jesus always showed his love. At the 11 o'clock service, you're going to play with the same ball, but this time you're going to actually use the ball. It's called a throw and tell ball. Wherever their hand lands, they get to t they get to tell you whatever is on there. So you're going to read it for them, but it could be, um, what do you do when you feel bored? Or what's your favorite color? Or, um... What's your scariest memory or your favorite thing to do in the afternoon? Whatever their land hands on, that's what they get to talk to you about. At the end, you can ask them questions about the story and give them ideas of how they can share God's love with others. In 9.15, you're going to um, ask the kids to find a picture of Jesus and you're going to talk to them about that. And then you're going to walk them through the books of the Bible, um, specifically the Old Testament. I will be sending you a link um, along this email with a YouTube video that you can have on your phone, have playing on your phone so that they can practice the books of the Old Testament. And this song will also be used in big rooms. At 11, you're going to do a different activity. You're going to hide the Bibles around the classroom. They get to find the, find the Bibles and um, like a Bible hunt, like a treasure hunt. And we're gonna to talk to them about how this is such a special treasure to our lives and that it's important that we read it and that we know it. And we're also gonna practice the books of the Bible there with them. So thank you for being part of our ministry and always giving your best to serve his kingdom.